Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and the iPhone 13 Pro Max is finally here. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is powered by Apple A14 Bionic chipset with 6GB of RAM while on the iPhone 13 Pro Max we have new Apple A15 Bionic chipset with 6GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have triple cameras on both phones and you can see we have a 12 megapixel main camera. We have f1.6 aperture on the 12 Pro Max while on the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have f1.5 aperture. Also, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, which is also improved a lot. We have a f2.2 aperture on the 12 Pro Max versus f1.8 aperture on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Lastly, we have a 12 megapixel Telephoto lens, we have a 2.5x optical zoom on the 12 Pro Max while on the 13 Pro Max we have a 3x optical zoom, not a huge difference. Uh, so you can see that and the camera lenses, it is much bigger in size as compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Also uh, the back it is made up of glass on both phones and the frame on both phones is made up of stainless steel. So that's really good thing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much a difference between an iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. Without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now let's see the boot up test. Like always, here we go. Also uh, the new iPhone, it feels a little bit more heavier as compared to the last year. Uh, so we have iOS 15.0.2 on both phones, latest iOS and you can see and the iPhone 13 Pro Max it is more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the last year iPhone 12 Pro Max about one and a half second difference. Now let's talk about the displays between these devices and you can see and finally and finally and the notch it is 20% more smaller on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. On the front we have 6.7 inch. Full HD plus Super Retina XDR display and the difference is that we have 120Hz refresh rate which is also a LTPO panel with 120Hz refresh rate. Everything feels a little bit more smoother as compared to the last year but not a huge difference if you have an Android phone with 60Hz and an Android phone with 120Hz and the difference is big but with iPhones the difference I feel it is not that much. But yes, it feels more smoother. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. And the first application we have is the phone dialer. That is very similar on both phones. Again, animation, it is very smooth on both phones. But feels a little more smoother if you guys see very closely in real life. But not huge difference. Now let's see settings. Exactly the same. So now let's go to the accessibility on both phones now let's go to the motion and you can see we have limit frame rate option on the iphone 13 pro max again we have 120 hertz refresh rate which is also a ltpo right now you are not using your phone and the refresh rate it is at 10 hertz and that's really good thing now let's check out some more application like amazon shopping same wi-fi network on both phones a little more faster on the iphone 13 pro max but not a huge difference now let's see the scrolling again a little more smoother on the iphone 13 pro max yes i can see the 60 hertz refresh rate versus 120 hertz because in the amazon shopping the animation it is much different as compared to the systems animation now let's see some games application now let's see candy Crush sega again we have apple a14 versus apple a15 exactly the same on both phones hit the speakers of the iphone 13 pro max max volume now let's see the speakers on the iPhone last year, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yes, and the speakers I feel it is more louder on the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Yes, I can feel that. Now let's see Instagram, exactly the same. Now let's see pin out. Again, a little more faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, no difference. Let's see Snapchat, very similar. Now let's see Spotify exactly the same so now let's see subway suffer and the subway suffer should be a little more faster only 13 pro max yes it is a little more faster about half a second difference there now let's see temper and two on both phones last game application we have in this speed test 
and that is a little more faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max as compared to the and you can see faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max now let's opening up the tutor exactly the same now let's quickly launch the PUBG mobile on both phones Apple A14 versus Apple A15 new hardware so yes and the new iPhone 13 Pro Max it is again a little more faster not a huge difference 13 Pro Max is done and now the last year iPhone 12 Pro Max it is also done as well now let's open the YouTube faster on the last year so now let's see the scrolling yes a little more smoother on the new iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the 12 Pro Max so now let's quickly open the unto do benchmark on both phones and now let's run this you can see the battery percentage on both phones on the iPhone 13 Pro Max we have 82% battery while on the 12 Pro Max we have 56% battery so now let's run at the same time also in the temperature in this room it is about 25 degrees celsius and guess you can see that and the new iphone 13 pro max and the brightness it is really really good but on the last year and you can see the brightness is dropped automatically and you can see no effect so that's really bad thing but on the new with Apple A15 and this thing is improve a lot now let's run again you can see the battery percentage again 82% versus 53% only 12 Pro Max now let's run again okay guys you can see that and the old iphone 12 pro max is win and the iphone 30 pro max it is also done on the iphone 13 pro max we have a 7 lakh 52,000 scores on the iphone 13 pro max but on the iphone 12 pro max we have 6 lakh and 58 thousand scores on the iphone 12 pro max and the brightness is drop a lot on the iphone 12 pro max as compared to the iphone 13 pro max you can see that and the new one is performed much better in terms of the heating last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one let's see the camera exactly the same on both phones and this time on the iphone 13 series we have a cinematic mode and you can see and this is the mode which gave you, you a background blur in the video it is like a portrait mode in video so now let's look at the front camera on both phones so it is the front camera looks like on both phones brightness it is is not recovered yet so here is the cinematic mode looks like on the 13 pro max it works very really good i have to say and now the brightness it is also on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now let's see internet browser speed IMC default. Safari internet browser on both phones. Now let's see wikipedia.org. Faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Little more faster there. No difference. Now let's see the scrolling. Yes, I can see the difference 60 hertz versus 120 hertz. So now let's open this English. Faster again on the 13 Pro Max. Let's see the scrolling yes fee is more smoother on the 13 pro max but no lag whatsoever next on the list is the yahoo.com faster on the 13 pro max but at the end and the 12 pro max it is a little more faster there but the 13 pro max is take a lot of time so now let's see the scrolling that is very smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever 
So now let's see RAM management on both phones. Again, we have 6 GB of RAM on both phones. Now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management. We have a lot of application in the background. Phone dialer, no refresh. Let's see settings. Amazon shopping, no refresh. Let's see Candy Crush Saga. Instagram, let's see Pinout. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Spotify. Let's see Subsurfer. So no refresh on both phones. So far, let's see Temper and 2. Now let's see Twitter. Let's see PUBG Mobile. So the PUBG Mobile also not refresh on both phones. Rare management, it is really good. Let's see YouTube. Let's see Antudo benchmark. You can see the CPU, GPU, MEM, UX on both phones. Last we're back to the internet browser where if we left and you can see. And guys, over I have to say, Regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that and the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, yes, it's performed more faster as compared to the last year iPhone 12 Pro Max. In the game app during time, I would say that in system-based application, both phones is performed very similar in terms of the RAM device and the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 12 Pro Max and both phones is performed incredible in the RAM management. No refresh on both phones. Also on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we have a 3687 mAh battery size while on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have 4352 mAh battery size and both phones also support 20 watt fast charging as well. Yes, in the box, we does not get any power bakes, so you have to buy separately. That's about it and thanks so much for watching this speed test comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me know your thoughts. In the comment section below, subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.